Lapsus did it again. This time, they really overdid themselves, claiming to have hit, wait for it, LG being an Okta. Yeah, that's, that's quite a list of targets. We last met and we talked about the alleged breach of Ubisoft, and Ubisoft confirmed that they had a security investigation into the matter, but Lapsus was a little gray on taking credibility for that attack. You can check that video out. There's a link to that at the end of this video. And we also spoke in that video about the 200 gigabyte leak of Vodafone that Lapsus teased. Now we still haven't gotten that leak yet. What we did get, however, was a large dump of hashes from LGE, and Lapsus basically said that they had breached that company twice in the last year. They also teased that there would be a larger dump of data from LG coming in the future. Now, right after that post, they came right back with a bunch of screenshots from Bing. And a lot of people might've even caught that they posted some screenshots from Microsoft. However, they immediately deleted those. So it appears that Bing is really the primary target right now. But they have made the claim that they have breached Bing, Bing Map. I didn't even know Bing Maps was a thing. Who the heck uses Bing Maps? And Cortana. Now this was something interesting that I found that they said. They said that they had captured about 90% of the source code for Bing Maps and they were going to leak that. And they were also going to leak about 45% of the source code for Bing and Cortana. Now that's kind of a weird claim, right? I mean, from one hand, what's, what's up with the remaining 55% of the code? And two, I mean, they must have had access to the remaining code code to be able to understand, okay, well that, this is clearly 45% of, of this data. So that, those are some answers that we don't exactly have yet, but that's what we've seen there. But even then, I mean, each one of those is, is, is really its own story, but we're getting both at the same time. And that was before the real kicker came in and that was Okta getting breached. Now let's take a moment to remember who Okta is so that way we can recognize how important of an event that this might be. Okta is an identity and access management company. If the YouTube channel, all things IAM were a company, this would actually be them. They're kind of a big deal in the security world and they're used by a number of very large and reputable brands from Lululemon to Moody's to T-Mobile and even Cloudflare. Holy crap. It gets a lot worse. We've seen before lapses go after source code and proprietary code for their targets. However, in this case, it appears that they were targeting specifically Okta's customers, which include some of those major companies that I just listed. Now it gets even scarier. They claim to have had access as far back as January, and that's confirmed in some of the screen caps that they shared. That was also substantiated by Okta's recent statement. According to Okta, they said that this originated with a third party customer support engineer that was working in one of their sub process and that this is contained and that they haven't seen any hostile activity ever since. These screenshots ever since they were published have been absolutely consumed by cybersecurity Twitter. They were also analyzed by Bill Demercopy and the findings were certainly concerning. He points out that Lapsus might have managed to access Cloudflare's tenant with the ability to reset user passwords. He also showed a cutout of one of the screenshots which showed that Lapsus might have also gotten access to some of the corporate VPNs which might be using Cisco AnyConnect. So it certainly all has some pretty rough implications for the industry. After all, a lot of you might remember SolarWinds whenever SolarWinds was targeted and that had downstream implications for a lot of their clients. Same thing with Kaseya. And now of course we can add Okta to that list. Lapsus has certainly shown that they are a capable threat. And if we were to simply isolate this event, we would see that Lapsus would be certainly climbing the ladder of infamous threat groups, especially consider Conti's pretty much imploding and Revil. Um, I mean, who even knows if Revil exists anymore? Now, this is pretty bad because of what Okta does for companies. Again, they do identity and access management for companies, which is a very critical and important layer of security for most organizations, or I mean, pretty much all organizations. Granted, that should really only be one of the layers of security that is, that's being implemented, but for some organizations, that might actually be the most robust layer. And if they are relying on Okta to basically check that box and they might be in real trouble right now. Now I do want to be fair and say that again Okta sent their statement that this appears to be contained. Surely you know they took some remediation steps as part of this incident and they were able to notify some of the downstream clients and, and a lot of those issues that we're worrying about were actually remediated and resolved as far back as January and this is just lapsus publishing the screenshots just to gain some clout. That certainly is a thing that can happen. A lot of threat groups like to recover some some semblance of faith 
place. But what we've also seen is Lapsus actually following through and publishing a lot of the source code and, and publishing a lot of data, basically proving that they did pull off the breach. So I don't necessarily want to discount the threat that Lapsus poses, but I also don't want to give them 100% of the credibility. So if you're watching this and you're not exactly sure what you need to do next, and I preface this that this is really primarily for those of you either working in a team or leading a team or working in like a small to medium sized organization and you're not exactly sure how to proceed and maybe you use Okta. Frank McGovern on Twitter tweeted a five phase plan that you can implement to go ahead and catch threats after they've breached your organization. And a lot of it has to do with log analysis and collection. Now, granted, it really helps if you've already been doing this, but the next best time to start on that is right now. Ben Gores also shared a tweet basically talking about what you should specifically be looking at, which includes you know new account creation and things like that. I do wanna point out that Lapsus has at least claimed to use insider threats and they have also indicated that they will enroll their own machines in the corporate environment in order to pivot around the network and exfiltrate data. So you might actually be able to catch some of that if you are collecting logs. And if they enroll within your corporate network, that's certainly something that would probably come up in the logs. Now, all of that being said, we've talked a lot more about Lapsus's TTPs in this video right here. So you should go check that out right now. Also, I started a new channel, it's right here. You can check that out if you would like. It's not necessarily gonna be security related. It's more just gonna be something different. And I wanted it to be, you know, kind of fun. So check it out if you're interested. With all that said, until next time, bye.